So if a student is uh, determined to get into an osteopathic medical school, mm -hmm. what can they do to make themselves more competitive? I would say definitely having strong academics, um, strong MCATs. Uh, it's important to recognize that part of the component to applying to a DO school is having some exposure to looking at and seeing how an osteopathic physician speaks and interacts and, and touches his mm -hmm. patient um, because that's part of the training that you would get. And so while the nuances are so very fine, there's still a distinction there. And so that's why in some cases that letter of recommendation from an osteopathic physician is so important mm -hmm. to the student's portfolio when applying. Um, so I would say, if, if at all possible, work with their pre-health advisors, um, work with their career center, work with alumni that, are, that have been successful, that have gone on to DO schools, mm -hmm. work with state osteopathic associations and our member schools so that we can help them find those experiences for shadowing to get that, that kind of exposure. Absolutely. And I know that the other thing that, that that really represents is the idea that the, the student knows what it means exactly. to be an osteopathic physician, mm -hmm. as well as just a physician in general, exactly. and, you know, having that shadowing experience. Experience, having that, that work with the physician. Exactly.